So, good evening everybody. Uh, I'm here in the loft. Uh, I'm actually in the section with all the boards. Uh, better light in here. So, uh, as I've told you, the last update, I was I was starting the bolt system again on the 4th of January with the eight hens. Uh, and I did them the hens day one, day three, day five and day seven. I did two hens on each day. So that's the eight hens all together. Uh, so the later hens, uh, the, some of the hens didn't lay until their day 12, 13, and one of them didn't lay until day 14 on the system. So I just wanted to give a bit of feedback on how I manage that. So normally day 1 to 10, if the boards lay, you're going to have fertile eggs, okay? Um, which I had in two cases. I had two hens laid on day 10. They had seen the cock on day 4 and 5 laid on day 10 and I only had one fertile egg in each nest okay uh, then I have I have a hen that saw the cock on she, she didn't lay till her day 14 but before I went to Blackpool which would have been her day 7 I made sure I put her in with the cock again there was four hens on the Wednesday before I left for Blackpool four hens on the 15th went in to see the cock again before I went. So of those four hens, I have six fertile eggs. And of the other one hen, I had one egg smashed, but the other egg is fertile. So what I've ended up with, one smashed, we won't conclude that, but 15 other eggs. And now the 15 eggs, because I don't know if the smash one was fertile or not, I have 10 fertile at the moment. There's two still to check. I know tomorrow whether they're fertile or not. I honestly don't think they are, but I have to check. So I have 10 out of 15 eggs. So 10 out of 15 eggs is 60% hit rate, fertile from the cock. Okay. So I separate the boards as soon as I come back from Blackpool, put the hens away. The hens are going to be left for another, another week from now. Today is Thursday, so probably next Wednesday I'll start again. But I'm going to do my next run differently again. So my next run is to get the hens all down again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do them one hen every day. So a, a hen will come into their cocks, the foster cocks, one time, one every day. And the only time they will see the stud cock, the one I want the young boards off, is on day five for them. Okay? So I'm going to be one, two, day one, two, three, and four in the boxes with the cock. And on the fifth day, what I'm going to do is the section down the way there is ready. The cocks, somebody put up a comment on one of the videos or one of the things that if the cock had no perches to go to in the section, that he might fertilize, he might be at a more rather than canoodling in a box. So there's only perches down there. So actually, I've taken that on board. So I'm going to show you that in a second. I have a V perch down low, so he has to stay on the floor with the hen. It's the only perch for him. There's two in there at the moment. I'm actually going to take one V perch out. And what I'm going to do on day five then is take each hen on their respective day fives, put her in for two hours take her out two or three hours later put her in for an hour or two take her out and then in the evening i'll put her in again for an hour or two and take her out so that means one day day five is the only day these hens are going to get serviced by the respective cock that we want the young boards from okay so that's how i'm going to do the next run now it'll be interesting to see if this works or not i've done this before whereby the cock has only saddled the hen once and I have had two fertile eggs. It works. I know it works. I've done it. But I'm trying to make it easy for everybody else to follow. Days four, five and six are very important. Uh, uh, one of the lads out there, John Angwin, uh, over, in, over, over in the UK, in England. Uh, John has done the bull system. Something similar to what I do, but his own modifications. That's what this is about. It's not doing it my way. It's using the way I do it or somebody else's way of doing it and tweaking each system to suit your own needs. That's how I do it. The only thing is most fellas will make sure all of the hens are serviced by the cock up until they lay. I know through research, through reading, through following stuff up that days four, five and six in pairing up, they're the important days for fertilizations. Days one to three are great that the hen can hold sperm for a couple of days. You should still get fertile eggs. But day seven, eight in the cycle, the eggs are already fertilized, closed up, ready to be laid. So if they haven't been fertilized by day six at the latest, the chances of you having fertile eggs are slim, okay? And you can try this. 
Let's you try this at home. You can take a pair that you, of feeders if you want, lock the hen in, let the cock and hen together on day two, and then separate them again until she lays her eggs, and see if they're fertile, and do another experiment with another pair. Leave them separate, because if you leave the hen locked in, and she doesn't see anything, she'll still lay eggs, because the cock is there with her, she's still in a cycle, she'll still lay in fertile eggs. So if you do a second pair, and don't let them in till day seven or eight together, and see if they're fertile or not. Just so you can, just if you, look, if you have spare boards, if you don't, especially if they're feeders, it's not gonna matter. If you're gonna be taking the eggs away anyway, it's irrelevant, and you're gonna be fostering something under them, so that's fine. But for me here, I like to do it differently. I'm trying to make it easy for myself. Me having to take the same hen, hen out two or three times over, over, the, over two or three days, it's just a pain in the ass, to be honest with you. So I know the one day works, I'm gonna try the one day again, and I'll update you on how that goes. I won't be doing that for another week or two. So I have 10 eggs here. Hopefully I will have 10 youngsters. Weaned, with a bit of luck, fingers crossed, as usual. You just don't know what's gonna happen as you go. I have two in the nest, these are two here. This is one, I'm just gonna show you. Lovely looking youngster. This would be a, uh, a full sister, I think, to the pigeon that did very well in the Grand Canary one loft race for me. So I have two of these in the nest, uh, two of them in the nest being bred there because they were to be a set of feeders. They're a very good pair of pigeons. They've already produced a pigeon to win, uh, win, win, win prize money for me. So because none of the others laid the first time round and she did, I wasn't throwing the eggs out. So that's why her eggs are there and they'd be kept. I won't be, I won't be getting rid of those eggs. Uh, so I'm just gonna show you the, 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 the system I have now set down here for the, for the bull cock. Um, so what I just did was I used a bit of perspex that I had lying around just to block the perches off. So you can see here, the perches are in behind there, they're blocked off. Here's the V-perch, here's the other one. That one will be coming off. Um, and it'll be coming off because I wanna make sure that someone made a val very valid comment uh, to one of the videos that if they didn't have anywhere to root and they just had a flat surface, i.e. floor, which is what I'm using, that the, the cock would be going after more and well, Yes, absolutely makes perfect sense. So that's why this is like this, okay? So that's where we are at the moment. Um, the hens are all in here, just, just calming down, ready to go. Uh, the race boards are ready, I wanna get these, I wanna get these boards kind of settled. So these are the race boards. These are actually gonna be going into this section this week. I'm just waiting to wean these two youngsters. I'm gonna show you now. Just give me one second and I'll get them up. Uh, so two youngsters here. Uh, these are off, uh, and I'll take this around here, be easier to see. This is off, uh, oh, excuse me. Oh, there we go. Oh, easy, like, easy, 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 easy. So this is actually off Musgrove Wizards. Uh, it's a, uh, I was lying, it's a double grandchild of Musgrove Wizards. Uh, cracking little youngster, I have to say. I'm very, very happy with the way they've come on. Uh, wasn't going to breed them, but uh, the parents laid, uh, the parents laid, and I just said, Look, we'll have a go. So it's another, again, only board's gonna be raced at the wizard's line here. And I have that little pair of the wellers that'll be going. Um, and that's it. So we've 10 young boards there, hopefully out of those eggs. I've four young boards will be weaned in the next couple of days. And then I'm gonna go again for another 16 young boards. And that means hopefully those 16 and 10 will be 26. If I get 16, we have to hope we get 16. And the four young boards that are here, and I'm going to get uh, a pal of mine has a couple of eggs I want off boards that I have given him as well, the Padfield line of boards. So I'm gonna bring one of the cocks laid, one of the double grandsons of Padfield's Invincible when paired to another inbred hen, a kind of an outcross line. So they'll be going to Guernsey as well. So it's all looking very, very well. Uh, I had a great weekend in Blackpool um, and I will be putting a separate video up in regard to that. Uh, so look, I'll keep you updated, we'll keep going. It's the only way you can go is forward, there's no point looking back. You know, of 10 out of 16 eggs, fair toil. That's, that, that's a good hit, right? I have done better, but I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take it with what it is, considering the first time I did it even this year before Christmas, I had nothing, I hadn't even got any eggs. So that, that, that's, I'm already on a winner there, okay? Have a good one, lads. Enjoy.